demonstration for the Avis Bank um, interbank transfer system, uh, FX. You will find details how this works on our Avis Bank uh, marketplace. Uh, you just have to scroll down to the bottom. You go there to uh, FX, uh, FX transfer register and here is the entire industrial transfer information you click on. The windows will open uh, with all informations what you read. You can ever existing worldwide transfers you have here demonstrated and you will learn how it works. Uh, just read through. It's too much information what we do here right now. Uh, we're talking here about right now uh, and the demo here is about this APIC SWIFT transfer. APIC is a generation of the next gener next systems what is going to be implemented worldwide globally we call them avis bank iq it's also bank uh, intelligence it works exactly like swift but without without limits and works with api so api to ip transfers or the api connections uh, uh, how this works we will just uh, learn a little and as we do have as well the ico uh, 020 2022 uh, uh, connection as well, that is the new GPI system now. It's implemented and works exactly as uh, many of these uh, informations coming from the market require now. So let's go to details on it. So please read it. Let's go to details on it. Uh, let's go to uh, to um, to the uh, uh, actual registration. When we have uh, an agreement that someone is sending money. Let's see here the gentleman John Doe from whatever Deutsche Bank or the whatever bank is it. We just register him here. We give him a user address. We give him here an email address. We give him all these details on it. Also the email address, of course, he is uh, uh, in our system registered. No, then of course at the moment is uh, we have to activate that gentleman. No, we give him a password. Also this is the pin how he can log on. And of course his functionality is external operator. So we have uh, when it's that registered in here his I uh, I his uh, telephone number and his uh, IP address is whitelisted on our firewall. Otherwise he cannot log in. That system connects by IP to IP to any server to any bank worldwide. Of course we're not accepting private servers. We're accepting only banks, and of course we're accepting only. Uh, to transaction with franchise operators now. So let's go to a transactions what is prefabricated. Let's see, take one of this stuff, what we're having here. So let's see a transactions what we have prefabricated before. So let's just learn how this a little works now. Here, it, it basically is exactly the same as any standard Swift. We can uh, do DTC, that works as a DTC wise. Uh, works as well normally IP to IP. We uh, can lock on when it's DTC, we have to lock on. Let's say when we go to whatever bank is there, you know, we have to lock on to that bank on the port registration and we can search. We can search by, uh, by TRN, UATR, account name, beneficiary, amount, code name. When we have a code, for example, that we can searching by Deutsche Bank or by Barclays Bank, whatever is in it, or by name. And so all this is findable once we here connected. So the, here is a prefabricated situation here. For example, is uh, the money is we can go up to uh, 10 billions in one transaction or so more. It's always a question how is the clearing done? That is has to be pre-authorized. Now we have here many clearing accounts. That is our own clearing systems. At the moment, we have 12 clearing accounts that we can use and be constantly adding new clearings like central banks, uh, uh, whatever globally, worldwide, whatever we can, we accepting and we connecting. No? That is our job, what we do constantly by our French's worldwide organization. So when we have a, a, a transaction registered, then we checking as well from the from the center bank. They have to check the interbank clearing. This is the two or two clearing, and that is debit credit, debit credit between the systems. No, and then we can let's say in this way we can request execution, and uh, we can request uh, request everything what is needed. Uh, basically, when it's uh, when we request the execution, no? first 
what we do is we just execute the transactions and then what's well following happen. We have, first of all, we have the black screen filled out, you know, we can also export black screen. Then we have the transactions here in a PDF file downloadable. We can as well going ahead, you know, and uh, 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 taking a customer copy, you know, we can download a customer copy then we have for the customer, also for the user, we have there an executed Swift wire transfer in the formatting of a Swift, you know, as you see here, it's pending, it's not executed. No? So that is the next step. And what we have, of course, we can save draft and we can use as well uh, from the same guy. We can repeatedly, let's say when we do 200 million transactions or the 500 million transactions, we can repeat it 20 times a day, whatever is agreed between the parties. We can upload as well when the transaction is finished, we can go ahead and uploading whatever file is combining invoices, etc. Why very important is the entire systems works with invoices no invoices clearing that is the most important it's not just money sending from a to b it's invoices to be paid you know a, a to b is uh, money laundering and we don't we don't want to be uh, a part of any kind of such shames so the uh, detail is on it and that is basically what is the uh, transfer system, also the transfer GUI with the server system behind. There's a very large server system behind what we're having here, you know, running with 1,500 programs. Where is ending up the money? Let's say when we have here a transfer registered here, let's see here what it was here is, uh, let's see how much was here. It was 1,999,000, can be 100 million, 500 million, whatever amount is it, that will be end up in the common accounts. You know, these are, these are common accounts, you know, that is a, a system is our core banking and that goes to the basic accounts. You see that is constantly executing transactions here for 520 million are created. So the balance is also at the moment we're having here and in this, in this currency, you know, that is euros here is a 1 billion 270 million on it, you know, with uh, constantly transactions ongoing. This is a, a, a common systems where we open every, uh, every uh, uh, two, three months, we open new common accounts in order that we don't, cent we don't much centralize. Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, that is the entire uh, system, uh, what we have explained for every kind of questions, contact one of uh, uh, our uh, agents.